Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for May 29th and 30th, Wednesday and Thursday, for my Virgos. Oh, my darling Virgos, how are you? I hope all is well. Okay, short reading. I am just using my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the cards with Reiki energy. And this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay, cards are jumping for you. So thank you all for liking, sharing, and subscribing. It really, really, um, I just appreciate you so much. Thank you. Let's go ahead and cut. We're going to go right into the reading. I'm glad that people people comment to me that, um, you know, that they really enjoy the readings being short. I look at these like, you know, in the olden days when we would get the newspaper and we'd go to the back for the horoscopes. Okay, first card. Now, two cards um, are up, but they're also reversed, and that means that they've got a, a more powerful message for you. This card is the Seven of Michael. Now, remember that these cards are a little different. And, you know, and I found for my Virgos, I think you need to know this, that I've gone and looked at other, um, you know, references to archangels, and they'll say, you know, Michael is, you know, with this energy or that energy. But these cards, this one, Michael is with air energy, okay? And that relates to our Gemini, Libra, and our Aquarius. There is a better course of action available for you or to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So really, I'm feeling kind of like for my Virgos that, you know, there might be some people around you that you just would rather that they just left you alone to do the work. Yet at the same time, you... You know, you will you you could get the uh, you know the energy is such that if you go ahead and just go ahead and do the work, well, this could become your pattern where you are stuck doing the work by yourself, or it could be that you know oh you know yeah Virgo doesn't like anyone to help, and it's not that you don't like any you don't like anyone to help you, it's just that they don't really do it as well as you, you know and and you know. And, and then they come back and then they they put little they pick it apart and then you're like you know you're like but it's it was good the way it was and then they put it back together again and it was still the way it, it was the way you put it at you know that you made it so my the suggestion for Wednesday Thursday the energy is get them involved in it now because that way if it's not the way it's supposed to be you've got more <laughs> to share the you know, to share the um, culpability with, but if it is the way, you know, they they, they, won't, they weren't gonna let you per se do it right anyway, okay? I know that that's weird energy, but that's how I'm feeling about this. Okay, so our next one, this one is also reversed. This one is the Knight of Gabriel, and Gabriel is representing our fire energies such as our Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic. And, you know, fire is very, very much, you know, passionate energy. And this one is take time, uh, time to take action, great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. And again, it's like, you know what to do. And, and I'm like, I, I don't know, maybe you should just do it. I don't know. But it's like, you know what to do. But this energy here is like, you know, the, this other energy, you know, it, it, it's kind of like if you don't involve them in it, they're going to try to pick you apart. Okay, I'm sorry. That's what I'm picking up here. Okay, this is our last card. And here again, this one is reversed. And here we have peace, Archangel Azrael. So this is one of the Archangel you know, this is one of the stronger Archangel cards. This is the major arcana. And this is release the past. There is more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. So when all of this is going on and this energy is creating you, you know, I mean, I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is. You know, relationships could be work. It could be interpersonal. But this relationship here, you know, they just want to pick you apart and yet you know what you're doing. And here, this is basically saying, you know what? Just 
let them. Okay. I, I, I don't mean to, you know, to say that you hand over your power to them. No, do not do that. But if they want to be part of it, then say fine. But then make sure that they become equal parts of it. And the funny thing is, it's like this Wednesday, Thursday, it's like, you know, they'll be searching for an answer. You'll know the answer, but you'll say, oh yeah, well, tell me the answer. Okay. Weird energy, um, you know, you don't necessarily like to have confrontation. This is basically saying you don't have to confront. Almost too, I think that the other, the other party, the other energy, it's almost like if you give them, you know, enough rope, they'll hang themselves type of energy. Okay, so hope that makes sense to you, my Virgos, because it's, uh, it, it's kind of all over the place with that, but you do know what you're doing with it. Okay, so my Virgos, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.